Um, I got an email with the script in that said Sam Taylor Johnson was attached, as was Naomi. So like instantly I was like, this should be a good script. Um, and then just like there was this monologue at the beginning, which just I just remember reading one paragraph being like, holy shit, this is really cool. Um, and the more I read, the more I wanted to know. And then I got to Sydney's part and I just thought, wow, she seems like a really cool person to play. Um, and then by the end of the episode, it was like, oh, wow, she's, she's super cool, but really complicated. And I couldn't really work out what was going on with her or why she was lying. And I really wanted to like work out the intentions behind that. So I was super excited, put myself on tape, went to LA, met the uh, creative producer and Sam. And yeah, it all just kind of went from there. Ooh, underground, back to the floor. Maybe revenge. I wouldn't put it past Sydney. It's possible. I, w I mean, I wouldn't put anything past Sydney. That's the honest truth. Like, and that was the exciting thing about playing her. You just, because we only ever had two episodes at a time. So it, nothing would have surprised me. Yeah. To room, some lace. Uh, yeah, I used to sing when I was younger, but never like in a cool band or anything like kind of musical theatre as a kid. And I've always loved singing, but it's been a long time. So, yeah, I mean, being on a stage like with a band, with an audience, that's like pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> that I was to the gypsy. Amazing. She's so sweet and generous and warm, you know, both, both as a human and an actor. Um, and by the time we get to the, like, the really intimate scenes, we'd been working together for months. So it was, I think we we're both like very excited to just kind of get on with it because the tension, it, I mean, it really was tense. Like we just kind of like, it was like, we have to kiss soon because otherwise like these scenes just too much. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really fun. I couldn't have asked for a better person to deal with. Faces, Frida. Uh, Jean, obviously. Um, no, I'm, it's so it's so tough. They both they both kind of mess with each other, and I think it's kind of episode seven. Where it's like, are you messing with me or am I messing with you? I'm I'm not too sure. I think they're pretty even, probably. Yeah. To roam, some lace. I think often the hardest ones are often my favourites. <laughs> All of episode seven was just so much and just the sheer amount of dialogue as well. And you know, doing it in that one room, it takes place over one night discussing like really really deep interesting stuff and finding like the dance and the choreography and movement rhythm of the whole episode was was really tricky it was like kind of doing a play or something to the gypsy. yeah i hope so i think like there's a lostness about her which i think we all can associate with there's there's been a time in everyone's life where they're not quite sure what they're doing and unsure of themselves, or maybe told a white lie to kind of protect themselves. And I think that's the thing with Sydney. When she lies, it's about survival, and we've all done something like that. And we've all had done like something a bit reckless. Sydney takes that way too far. Um, but I think she has like this really loving, loving side, and she wants to receive that back. And you know, we kind of all want to be loved. <laughs> I don't know who's in control anymore. You need to control your fucking impulses. Does it make you feel powerful to manipulate people like this? I'm afraid our time's up.